Quintet mm. is back. So Quintet is the pre like I think personally the most exciting grappling events that have ever been put together were Quintet because they found a way to make stalling exciting. The worst part of our sport is when nothing's happening, right? But Quintet would be there'd be fourteen. It'd always be a four man a fourteen tournament, and each team would consist of five people under nine hundred and forty pounds or something so you obviously you could structure that however you want you could get a couple of fucking giants and a couple of midgets in there you could have five even level guys but what would make it exciting would be that stalling could be strategic you know what i mean like if your team is not as good as the other team and you're facing someone that's really really good you know maybe an elite level guy on the other team you just like shit if i survive this guy's out of the event because it's uh it's last last man standing so like we did an event Kinet Kinetic and Lachlan Giles ran out a whole team he ran out oh, five no. guys so really <clears throat> stalling becomes exciting now because if there's a skill discrepancy it becomes fun to watch this really good guy try to beat a guy who's shelling up and it makes it like a the team's environment makes it so stressful because it's like you can't really warm up you don't know when you're going to go once you elect your five man lineup you can't change it until round two of the event but yeah it was crazy exciting. I competed in, I think it was the original event, Team Polaris. We did it in Japan. We competed in the Sumo Arena, uh, which was pretty cool. What was funny about the Sumo Arena is in our warm-up rooms, they had the Sumo bathtubs. Like, the, they obviously have to have a fucking massive bathtub, yeah. but, like, honestly, that might do pretty well in America, the size of that tub, you know? Like, there's a lot of people, especially just coming back from Vegas, a lot of people in Vegas that could require a bathtub of that size, yeah. for sure. But yeah, competed Quintet 1, Team Polaris. We, oh fuck, have I competed two or three times? I don't even fucking remember. I think two times. But first event I did, we went against uh, Team Sambo, which obviously, as we all know, has been well established for over 10 years now. Sambo is completely fake, Not completely bullshit. Something no one knows anything about, no one does. But I competed against this kid and I put him in an e bar because heel hooks a band. They wanted to like... You don't want to have some heel hook killer. It would just, it would be a mismatch. Yeah. That's the idea. And Sakuraba's in the event, so it's like, you're not going to fucking break this older guy's leg. But the idea, like I competed against the Sambo guys and I was like, you know what? Fuck these guys. I'm going to knee bar them. Knee bars are their moves. So I put this guy in a knee bar and I hesitate. His knee starts to pop and I just like, I don't rip it because I was like, I felt bad. Like sometimes you're like, if this is a skill discrepancy, sometimes you don't need to break someone's leg. That might be some advice someone needs to tell Big Dan you're 300 pounds like you don't have to break a guy's leg you know like yeah. just be a bit nicer about it <clears throat> but yeah the second time I put him in the knee bar I was like alright well fuck you I'll rip it is that the famous picture that has like you don't know yeah, what it looks limb like is? five yeah. limbs right? yeah this guy's knee this was a worse <laughs> was break fucked. than the Vinnie Margalesh break but it's sort of like less people know about it but yeah completely destroyed his leg didn't realize until I watched the replay and then after I break his leg I grab his hand to pick him up and he steps on his leg and it completely yeah. buckles inwards was disgusting i would have just killed myself then and there but we were walking around tokyo later that night and i saw him walking around he looked like a fucking baby giraffe or something every time he stepped his knee would buckle backwards inwards and he'd just keep walking like no crutches anything yeah. and i was like the fuck's wrong with you crazy russians yeah, eh? legend is still went out to party and shit still yes yeah, still went out had a good time but yeah quintess best event i've ever been a part of and it's uh an event that people that don't do jiu-jitsu could appreciate like I, I just checked uh the other day team polaris versus team 10th planet was on the quintet in las vegas right mm -hmm. so i think 10th planet won one quintet tournament team polaris won another we faced off at the las vegas event which is like a sold out crowd biggest event in jiu-jitsu at the time and we had a crazy back and forth battle where every single match ended in submission and just the drama of it made it so exciting for people that don't even do jiu-jitsu like i don't think there's another event out there that you could actually show people that don't do jiu-jitsu like even adcc and stuff it's like bro this is 48 hours you know like most of the time we don't like people aren't going to be invested in anything but if there's four teams the event's a two-hour event that's enough jiu-jitsu you know this ain't an mma event we don't want to watch fucking seven hours of this shit so four teams they pick a team they get invested in it like the primitive fucking NBA, NFL, you know, you just pick a team, you're invested in your team, and you watch the drama unfold. So Quintet is back in collaboration with K1. That's huge. 
uh, when I was uh, when I was growing up, K1 was massive. They would do these eight man tournaments. Even some Aussies and stuff did well in those tournaments. But they'd have some of the craziest kickboxing fights ever. Guys like Batahari, Semi Shield, Jerome Labana, Peter. It's all these massive names that fight in K1 tournaments. Most of the events in Japan, but they would host events. They even hosted some K1 events in Australia. That disappeared for a long time, and now it's back. So same night, it's going to be a K1 eight man heavyweight tournament and a quintet tournament straight afterwards. Yokohama Arena in Tokyo, gonna be fucking massive. The teams that were announced were 10th Planet, Sakuraba's team, Team New Wave, and who was the fourth one? Polaris. Team Polaris, right. 